The Panasonic Lumix G9 versus the Google Pixel 6a. It's a professional camera versus a budget smartphone. You might think this is an odd comparison. That's because it is. The professional camera I'm using is the Panasonic Lumix G9. It retails for around $1,000. It's going to be equipped with the Olympus 12-40 f2.8 Pro lens. It retails for around $1,000 but was recently replaced with the Mark II version. The smartphone for this test is the Google Pixel 6a, which is the budget model of the Pixel lineup. It retails for $450, and I purchased mine for $300 on sale, brand new. On paper, we're looking at a $2,000 purpose-built camera and lens versus a $450 budget smartphone. You would think the camera and lens costing over four times the amount of the smartphone would win this, hands down, but you might be surprised. When possible, I try to do my comparisons the same day, so the weather conditions, lighting, everything is really similar. Unfortunately, there was really thick fog, and I wasn't able to get all my pictures on the same day. We'll start with photos and then move to video. The cameras will be assigned a letter, so camera A or camera B. This may or may not be the same letter for photos and videos. You'll have to take a guess and see which one you think is the camera and which one you think is the smartphone. First up is a shot that really shows the fog from that day. We're at the Liberty Memorial overlooking Union Station in Kansas City. Can you tell a difference between the photos? I'd say the colors in camera A might be more muted in comparison to camera B. Camera B has a bold look to it. Here's a picture of the Liberty Memorial. Again, it's a really foggy day, um, not the best conditions. Camera A is maybe a little lighter. Camera B has more detail from what I can tell. Here's a more close up picture of Union Station. There's not a big difference between the two. I would say there might be more detail in camera B, whereas camera A is slightly muted again. Here's a different angle of Union Station. I would say camera A looks maybe a little bit muted in comparison to camera B. Camera B just seems to pick up a little bit more detail. Here's some graffiti art representing the Kansas City Royals. I would say the trend continues. Camera A appears to be slightly muted, whereas camera B is a little more punchy. The trend continues here with this dragon graffiti. Camera A, again, is a little bit more muted. Camera B has a lot more color. On this graffiti mural, um, I would say that they're quite similar, though it looks like camera B has a little bit more detail. What a beautiful woman. Camera A does look dull in comparison to camera B. They're really starting to show some differences here. Here we are at night. What does the larger micro four thirds sensor look like in comparison to the computational night mode on the Pixel 6a? They look quite similar to me. There's a troublemaker right there. Unfortunately, I didn't get the exact same shot. What do you think? Camera A or camera B? Which one's the smartphone? Camera A was the G9 and camera B was the Pixel 6a. As you can see, this battle was closer than one might think. The computational photography of the Pixel 6a holds its own against the larger sensor of the professional camera. Which do you prefer? Here's camera A. It's a foggy video of Union Station, panning to the left, observing the flags. Camera B. It's a wide-angle shot of Union Station in Kansas City, and it's a foggy day, panning to the left and getting the flags. And here's the corner angle of Union Station from camera A. Here's camera B with the corner shot of Union Station. Here's camera A panning to the right of a large graffiti mural located right next to Escapist Skate Shop in Kansas City, Missouri. This is camera B shooting a wide angle shot of a large mural in Kansas City, Missouri, panning to the right. Here's camera A shooting the Love Kansas City mural. This is in Kansas City, Missouri, right next to Escapist Skate Shop. 
Here we have Camera B shooting the Love Kansas City mural in Kansas City, Missouri. Again, camera A was the G9 and camera B was the Pixel 6a. It's pretty amazing how well the budget smartphone holds up to the professional level camera and lens combo. Which do you prefer for video? I'd say the proper Micro Four Thirds camera wins this one, though it's actually a tough call. Which did you prefer? The G9 has a more natural look, but some might choose the Pixel due to the sharpness and punchy colors. There are pros and cons to either device. This test, the differences are more glaring than a traditional camera comparison. The Pixel 6a, for example, is much easier to carry and it's always with me. I feel great about the image quality that it produces. Some of the computational modes, such as panorama and night mode, really help get the most out of that small sensor. The G9 has a big advantage in being able to change lenses. The ability to optically zoom is huge in day-to-day -day photography. The sensor is much larger on the G9 and the pictures are 20 megapixels compared to 12 on the Pixel 6a. I won't be selling any of my cameras as a result of this test, but it does show just how amazing smartphone cameras can be. The best camera is the one that you have with you. Either one of these is a great option. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Till the next time.